Hey guys, Michael from Belco Lifestyle here. Congratulations on purchasing your new 3D printer. Today we're going to be going through how to set your 3D printer up. Really simple steps, let's get stuck into it. First, what you're going to want to do is make sure you've got plenty of bench space to lay everything out. Uh, and that's pretty much it. We're going to get some scissors here and we're going to cut the cable tie like so. Just put that to the side. Now what you're going to want to do to give yourself enough space to get the base in is lift the gantry up. Now it's a bit stiff, but just push it all the way up there so you've got yourself a bit of room. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the bed through the front here. Make sure the screen's going in like so. What you'll notice too is some bolt holes here. We're going to make sure that we match those up perfectly. There we go. Now getting your hex wrench and the four largest bolts here, we're going to place those into the holes. It's going to be two at the back and two at the front. Once the bolts are nice and tight, we'll get stuck into putting the cables in. Now what you want to do is grab A and place that into the stepper motor A here, like so. Then you'll see D, what we're going to do is put that into D there. You'll notice a bit of a pattern, A with A, B with B, D with D. We'll do E next. C is down the bottom here, and finally another egg, which goes into the base. That's your cabling done. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tilt the printer on the side like so, being very, very careful. And I'm going to grab these rubber feet, and we're just going to slide them there on the front, like so. And then two at the back as well. Now this is going to stop your printer from shifting during prints, Stop any unnecessary vibrations as well. All right. Gently placing it back down. Nice and sturdy. All right, next we're going to do the spool holder. Very simple stuff. Using your last two large bolts and your hex wrench, simply place them in there, tighten it up, and we're almost good to go. Getting this part of the spool assembly, make sure the lip is facing up. That's actually going to stop the spool from falling off and give you a bit more security. So we're going to tighten that up. There's no right or wrong way to do it. There you go. Now. Plug in your power, and away you go. For more information, check out our website, belcolifestyle.com. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact our support team at belcolifestyle.com as well. Take care. Happy printing.